Hello everyone, I'm Joanna Burke from Modern Teaching Aids and I would just like to show you a quick activity that you can do using the Spike Prime sensors um, after you've just got started with Spike Prime in your classroom with your students. So it's using a um, what I call a driving test. So it's great to use probably after the getting started activities in the app and before the unit plans. I'm going to use a really quick build robot um, and you can do the same yourself. Um, and with this one, it's actually called Spikey and it's from Damien Key's new book. And I just, if you look in front of me, if you have a look, you can see the minimal parts that I have here. Obviously, I'm going to be using sensors, so I'll just show you the sensors I'm going to use with this particular activity. And then um, I'll build it and I'll show you the actual test. It's actually a driving test. So the idea is they're going to get their L's. Um, in, with their spike prime sensors before they move on to the unit plans. So I'm going to use the hub, obviously. Um, we need to use this. This is the programmable hub. And um, I'm going to use the, gy uh, the gyro sensor, which is inbuilt in the hub. I'm also going to use two motors in my little spikey, and it has an, and these have an inbuilt rotation sensor. So I'll use that to calculate um, how far my robot needs to, to travel. I'm going to use a distance sensor which is going to detect a pedestrian, which will be my hand, um, going over the crossing. I'm going to use the force sensor or touch sensor to start my program. The force sensor actually measures newtons between 0 and 10. And I'm going to use the colour light sensor. I'm actually going to use the colour black to stop my robot at the very end. So in other words, it's as if it's going into its garage, it's going to reverse in. So I'm going to use the inbuilt gyro, I'm going to use the rotation in the motors, the distance, the force, and the color sensor. Other than that, I've just got very minimal um, parts, obviously the tires, etc., that we need to have for a robot. Um, and I do believe that if you've got any questions um, about the driving mat that I use, um, or we'd love to see your version of it um, or anything else, please feel free to email us and we'll be happy to help. Thank you. Okay, so using Spikey, I'm going to start with the force sensor, pressing down, using my hand as a pedestrian and the distance sensor to stop, detecting an object. Travel forward using rotations, same with turning my left hand turns. Travelling along to the garage, I'm going to use the gyro to do a correct 90 degree turn and stop using the colour sensor. 